Welcome to my 17th video in a series about shooting rats with an air gun in western Washington state. As the title says, rat hunting is fun for everyone. Well, almost everyone. I don't think the rats enjoy it quite as much as I do. This video does include images of rats being shot and killed with an air gun. If you are offended by these images, please leave now and find something else to watch. Most of the rats you'll see being shot in this video are at a dairy. A uh, few of them are at a neighboring cattle operation that has a developing rat problem that I am helping out with. This is the gun that I use to shoot the rats. It is a Benjamin Marauder Woods Walker pistol carbine combo. It is essentially a pistol, a precharged pneumatic pistol that comes with pistol grips when you buy it. It also comes with the shoulder stock you see attached to it right now. It has about a 10 inch barrel in the upper shroud and it has a suppressor inside the shroud in front of the barrel and it quiets the uh, firing down very nicely. The lower tube you see is the air charge tube. It takes 3000 psi of air pressure and it will shoot about 40 shots on a fill. I've got it tuned to do that. And I have five eight shot clips and that works out very well. It is a bolt action, eight shot repeater, and it does a spectacular job of controlling the rats in and around the livestock, the close quarters of the dairy. I shoot up to about 40 yards with it. Most of the shots are in the 5 to 20 yard range. Some of them are almost point blank depending on the situation. And it handles it very well. It power level is perfectly adequate to kill the rats without creating uh, a bad ricochet problem that would uh, endanger the animals or the uh, equipment in the, uh, the dairy or at the ranch. This is the flashlight, the LED uh, infrared flashlight that I use to illuminate the rats. It has uh, three power settings on it, three light intensities, plus you can focus, turn the uh, focus ring you see behind the bell there, and it will focus to a spotlight or open up to a wide floodlight, which changes the light intensity, which works very well for the video. And the camcorder I have is a Sony HDR SR11 high definition camcorder. It has a night shot feature enabling it to see and record infrared light. The uh, laser sight you see here is the Vector Optics Viper Wolf uh, laser sight. It has a green laser which is visible to the eye and it has the infrared laser sight which is invisible uh, to the sight. The rats are in the dark in these videos that you see. Uh, they can, it seems, detect the infrared light, you can tell that, that they do know when it's on, but uh, as opposed to visible light, it is much preferred. This uh, is at a cattle ranch near the dairy, and they have a feeding area that uh, uh, where the rats congregate. This is uh, corn silage packed into a bunker, and on the face of this silage, uh, the, the rats, after they come in and remove some of the silage to feed to the cows, the rats burrow in and uh, stick their heads out and I shoot them. This is a, at a bunker, a feed bunker near the dairy and they, there's a big grain storage area right here and this uh, rat that was underneath the ecology block uh, is just giving his last gasps and uh, there was another one over here, and here he is. And I take a heart shot on this one, and then camcorder gets, so the autofocus gets a little lost in the dark there, so I reach up and grab some focus back on objects that have more uh, shading variability, and come back to our guy who's in that short time between the shot and getting back on him, he's down to his last kicks. Now, where the camera's going to swing next is up next to the paved county road that runs in front of the dairy. 
And the rats have excavated this and burrowed in so much that they've actually uh, threatened the uh, shoulder of the road. This was a, about a 33, 35 yard shot. And this guy had been difficult to get close to. But you can see by the tail doing its helicopter thing that that's his last move. That's a power, power pole you see to the left there. This broken up concrete is stacked near the feed bunker. It makes a great habitat uh, for the rats. They can stay away from most predators in there, not me. The woods walker is a very good weapon for shooting between the little cracks that are available. And here's a follow up shot uh, on the guy that I had just hit before. The tires you see are used as weights on top of the plastic sheeting on top of the feed in the feed bunkers. The uh, tires keep the wind from blowing the plastic away. When the, the tires are not being used, they're stacked off to the side and become terrific habitat for the rats. And you can see it, it protects them to some degree, but hiding from the woods walker is pretty hard thing to do. Which way are we going to go? Okay. Goodbye. Rats are very curious animals. They pretty much love to look out to see just what you're doing, and it's an often a fatal mistake. They like to peek out from under things. They do like to look, and they pay the price. Woods Walker is extremely accurate. The laser sight is uh, very reliable, very happy with it. This feed area, they have plywood on top of what appears to be old pallets and that keeps the feed up off the, the wet ground, but it also provides a cavity underneath a perfect habitat for the rats and they are taking full advantage of it. And here's another one peeking out from under that same ecology block we saw earlier. He took a good shot. And this, uh, underneath the plastic there is grain. And the, uh, they keep it covered so they keep the rain off of it. Also to keep the uh, birds from eating it all up. <laughs> yeah, let's do the backstroke here for a while. And very quickly dead. No suffering. Uh, it's just a far better death than that the rat would experience with poisons. And another one. Down he goes. Very often, they, this is about all you get to shoot at. And the rat can't make up his mind, and I can't make up my mind, and... Well, okay. I, I guess we both decided. This is an interesting shot. You see there are two holes. I double charged 
That's something I, I don't remember ever doing before. I actually got two pellets in the chamber and both of them hit the rat, so I guess he's double dead. This is a pile of old um, manure and whatnot taken from the, uh, the dairy. They stack it up, but there are plenty of undigested corn kernels and whatnot in that, and the rats can subsist on that. It's right up next to some European blackberries that provide terrific habitat and shelter for the rats. Although if you peek back in there just right, there's always something fun to find. I have a lot of fun. I like to shoot the rats. I have a lot of fun making jokes about it. It's not a joking matter to the farmers. The rats are very devastating in terms of property damage, the amount of feed they eat, the diseases they spread, a lot of negative things. You can see here that they're right in the feed areas with the cattle. And of course with the woods walker, accuracy and the power level, I can very confidently work in close like that without risking damaging the uh, injuring the animals and follow-up shots are good insurance make sure the animals uh, succumb very quickly A lot of motion, hard to watch sometimes, but it's exactly what I'm seeing when I'm looking through the camcorder as a sight on the back of the gun. And I'm looking for the reflective eyes, the motion, um, the texture of the bodies in through the vegetation. And the little persistence pays off and another one goes down. It's kind of unfair math. I'm doing subtraction and they're doing multiplication and they know how to multiply like crazy. A single pair of rats can, in a year's time with optimal breeding of all of the generations, could be 20, 30,000 rats. So it's, it's a problem that can get out of hand very quickly. And once out of hand, it can be very, very difficult to uh, 
get back under control, especially that these operations, whether it's a dairy or a cattle operation, are 365 day a year, 24-7 operations, and everything has to keep moving at, while you're trying to solve this other overwhelming problem. In good conscience, these farmers are trying not to resort to the use of poison. First of all, they're only marginally effective. And secondly, they are so damaging to the environment, uh, the animals that wind up eating the dead rats or other rodents that are killed with poison, often become poisoned and die themselves and that can involve a lot of species that uh, we really don't want to harm. Now this guy, we're going to shoot him in this pipe. You're going to see him again later very dead, well killed. He's featured in another segment uh, later on in this video. I'll tell you when that happens. Oh, what's going on out here? Oops. The back of this shed uh, where the rats are burrowing out here, it's just amazing the amount of earth that they've moved, the number of holes that they have. They're undermining the foundations of the shed. They're incredible digging machines. This one shot through the head. He's very dead in terms of brain activity but his nervous system and his spinal cord is giving off, is firing the fight or flight messages that were already stored there and that were being suppressed by the brain. And uh, in that regard, you see all of that frantic motion. That's un not unusual what you just saw. One rat gets shot and the guy that's in there with him comes running out. And that happens again here real fairly quickly. This is some old um, wind damaged building, a, a big uh, door for one of the barns. The wind blew it down and damaged it. They've got it pushed off to the side. And of course the rats immediately use that for habitat. And here you find the guy that we had in our introduction picture. That's where that picture came from. He doesn't look like he's having any fun at all. Big fat rat, well fed, also dead. Whoa, who's back in there? Let's see if we can pick up some eye reflection. What do you know we did? Another mark for the good guys. And a follow-up shot, just to make sure. And once again, that characteristic hind leg kick, uh, tail flipping motion. 
animal brain activity has been stopped. You'll see the same thing here. They start into that very characteristic kicking and tail motion. Also that sound you just heard was the bolt closing on an empty clip. It was also my last clip. So here I stand watching this rat kick his way into oblivion and who shows up but his partner. And I have no more pellets and I'm out of air. So. I get to be a spectator who is an itchy trigger finger. Can you, can you believe that I didn't get to take a shot at this guy? But I hope I get him later. And another characteristic well shot rat. Shot through the head. You can see the blood on the top of the head. Very characteristic behavior. Brain activity has ceased. Spinal nervous activity is keeping the legs kicking for a short time and when that stops they are dead. Pretty quick death, pretty painless. like most things that you do try to do the right way it's harder than the poisons but it is the right way to do it don't know of a better way yet traps are impractical poisons unthinkable well wait a minute this is a this is that same guy we watched uh, there you go again he we shoot one and the other comes running out this guy He's going to be right there with his buddy. Also well shot through the brain. Back legs, tail kicking like crazy. Don't know of a more humane way to kill off these rats than using an air gun. It's very clean. Um, pellets the only thing that comes out of it besides air. No cartridge brass being ejected out into the environment. It's just air and pellets. I really am impressed with the woods walker as a tool shooting through this crack in the, in the boards is just not something you consider as a problem at all. You can place your shots about, it, about where you want them. This is where they feed grain to the calves. Rats love this. But they also die here too. This is a headshot, believe it or not. See him go down and start with the kicking. See his partner back there behind, but we've got some pretty close quarters here. The feet is soft enough that I'm confident that a, a pellet that misses or that passes through is going to be absorbed. And I choose my angles carefully so that I'm not shooting directly toward the cattle. But this is often where you have the opportunity to kill the rats.
the rats in this video were all shot in the last week of January, or January uh, first week of February of 2016. So this is a one of the most recent hunts that I've been on. Here's the guy we talked about earlier. He was shot in that pipe off to the right. And when I came back later, this rat was dragging him away. I don't know if he was going to have a wake for his buddy or whether he's going to eat him. I have no idea. But that, that does happen quite a lot. That uh, I'll shoot a rat and come back a short time later and the rat will be that was very dead will be gone and only the other rats are there to have dragged them away. I'm mystified as to why they do that. I do know that they will gnaw on other dead or dying animals so apparently uh, it, it may be that they're being dragged off as food uh, cannibalistic sort of a thing. I really don't know. Oh, I'm gonna play hide and seek here. Well, it didn't work. This is in the feed bunker at the neighboring cattle operation. And uh, this guy had his head stuck out, and you can see him bleeding out. Well shot, uh, dead rat. I like the, in the video, as a photographer, I like the reflection. And his buddy comes along, and I shoot right over the top of his head. He should have ran away when he had the chance. He took that one right in the side of the head. And he is one dead rat. You can hear that lonesome train in the background. Quick check to make sure there's nothing behind in case of a ricochet. And goodbye rat. This guy knows something's going on. Too late. Well, there's another one down. That one fell into some water right behind that uh, feed there, uh, right up next to that cement. And the cow hears the splashing, and of course it's dark to the cow, so she's sniffing around, and there's this crazy rat doing the backstroke right in the water there. Can't figure that one out. And like with a lot of the shots, all you get to shoot at is the head. So, and a rat head is not very large, and the rat brain is a lot smaller than the head. So, making sure that you impact the rat where you want to is very important, and not always easy. Once again, just peeking out. But that's enough. That's the target I want anyway. It's 
See all the digging that's gone on back along the walls? Empty clip. Dang. Another rat right there. And here we have, once more, we have some pretty tight quarters. Keep in mind that I'm looking through the camcorder with one eye. And that's the only eye you get to see through here. My other eye is also open and the cow on the left, I'm watching the motion of that cow with my other eye so I know when her head is turned so that I can safely pull the trigger. Haven't heard a cow, don't intend to. There's that uh, helicopter tail and those back legs going again. As I said, this is a very recent video. And this is after killing somewhere in the neighborhood of 5,000 rats at the dairy. The population is greatly reduced, but there's still plenty of work to do. This is a classic example of what one of my friends from Great Britain calls a well-shot rat. Helicopter tail, back leg kicking. Well shot rat, I like that. And here we are once again, tight quarters, but also an opportunity that is safe with that feed as a backdrop. And goodbye rat. Let's give him one more just because it's fun to shoot. Now we get to uh, move to some photography that I take after I shoot the rats uh, in the night vision equipment. I grab my phone and take a few visible light photographs and you can see a more familiar reality of what uh, this is all about. They very often die laying on their backs, don't know why. I've speculated endlessly about it, but haven't come to any startling conclusions. Sometimes you get a chance to pile them up like this, that's all, always nice. Young ones, don't stay young long. You can see that by the blood loss that uh, these headshots, they, they do bleed out very quickly. And this is the same rat as the last picture, but I took a little wider view so you could see that as it flopped around, I don't know how much blood is in a rat, but a lot of the blood's coming out here. This is uh, one that sort of landed in the soup, I guess you could call it. This is the one that was doing the backstroke earlier on in the video. 
not a place that I could very easily walk over and take a close-up picture, but and this is one that was on the big pile of um, where they'd pushed the cow manure and the, the scrapings from the barn floor up into a pile. But you can see these rats. A lot of times you'll see a, a hole like this one has it in its side. That was a follow-up shot. This is another young one. This is at the cattle operation. Head shot and then follow-up shot in the body. This is one in the pipe that wound up getting dragged around by its uh, compatriot later on in the video. This one is peeking out from underneath an old refrigerator and that was the last thing he ever did. And once again, the, the, the blood loss as they splash around, flip around. Another picture of the same rat. It gives you a better view of just how much flip-flopping he did and how much blood loss there was. They bleed out very quickly from that 22 caliber uh, pellet hole. Even shot through the brain, there's a, still a, a tremendous a lot of bleeding that goes on. That's an exit hole. Took a lot of the hair with it. The barn has, or the dairy has, about five or six cats now. They have are gradually, re, gradually repopulating. They used to have 20 or 30, and that kept the rat population down. And they're gradually getting the cat numbers up. And what, what I'm seeing is a difference as that occurs, I see fewer and fewer young rats, baby rats. I think that's we're pretty much where the cats are, are harvesting their meals. And the bigger rats, of course, are a more formidable enemy and very capable of fighting. So the cats may shy away from them, but I take care of them. There's Mr. Drag the Other Rat guy. Actually died with his mouth right where he... Next, where he had hold of the other rat. These rats all died very quickly, very humanely. It's a sad thing in a way that we have to control as species as we do. They're admirable animals in a lot of ways. They're very family-oriented. They are good parents. Uh, many good things to say about rats. It's the except that we can't let them take over the world, and they're sure equipped to do that. This is the one that was splashing around in the water that the cow was trying to look at or sniff of. He kind of made a little bit of a pinkish soup there. Well, here we are in 2016, and uh, this looks like some kind of a weird uh, modern art agricultural version of something. Dead rats, more videos to come. Thanks for watching.